Welcome to my Georgian trip! I'm sharing my itinerary with you so you can have a realistic idea of how to plan your itinerary in Georgia, finding the perfect balance between what the country has to offer from a touristic standpoint and your personal preferences in terms of activities. We start this series of videos with three days, or a bit more, in Tbilisi, because in our experience that is a realistic way to enjoy the most relevant attractions that the capital has to offer. During our stay we took an Airbnb on the right bank of the Kura river, which is probably where you will find the cheapest options considering that most touristic attractions are on the left bank. While traveling between July and August the city was clearly very hot, but during our trip overall we were lucky and between mountains and the coast Georgia can be a great summer vacation. We reached the city center at dinner time and strolled through David Agmashanebeli Avenue. I'm really sorry for the pronunciation. This is a place where you may find a few interesting solutions for dinner, but they did not catch our attention, particularly because I do not enjoy greeters that invite you to their restaurants. We usually look at pictures and reviews on Google Maps, and that's how we dined at Puri Guliani. This is the kind of restaurant you can dine at any time of the day, because it had solutions for breakfast, lunch and dinner. Also, this is true for most Georgian restaurants, because they tend to have a menu with many specialities based on bread type of dishes. Clearly, this is where we had our first hachapuri. After the dinner, we continued our walk up a hill to reach the Holy Trinity Cathedral. which is arguably one of the best places from which you can enjoy the sunset with a view over the city. While walking back, try to spot the State Palace of Ceremonies, a nice building to look at either with sun or moonlight. We started our second day, or first full day, more or less where we left off. After a quick breakfast at Puri Guliani, we crossed the Sabrukan Bridge to reach a little area where in the evening you can find a little flea market. While descending, we passed by the beautiful public service hall, a flower-shaped building that deserves a few pictures and some of your time. We moved more to the interior to see the Lord Orbeliani's tower. From there you can continue to descend while traversing pedestrian roads. We quickly checked the Nicolas Baratashvili bridge, passed the Berikabao statue and reached the clock tower, one of the most picturesque things you can see in Belisi. Be sure to check the puppet theater nearby, you can't miss it, because of its unmistakable statues. Close there is Leila, a nice cafe where you will find a number of vegetarian options if you are not in the mood for shashlik. After strolling near the Patriarchate of Georgia, you will reach the Peace Bridge that will bring you to the heart of Rike Park. As you see, the area deserves to be explored, particularly the nearby hills behind the park up to the Queen Darijan's palace. This was built in 1776 for Erekle II's wife, Queen Darijan. When you descend, you can reach Europa Square and then the Vachtang Gorgasali statue. In the 5th century, he was the king of Iberia, an area including most of nowadays Georgia, and was credited for the foundation of many cities in Georgia, including Tbilisi. Right next to him there is Meteki church, but we did not check it because there was a wedding taking place. Still, from this hill you can have a great view over the Kura river. We decided to postpone the aerial tramway to the next day and cross the Meteki bridge towards the Maidan Bazaar. In this area you can think of having a quick lunch if you're hungry, because there are many restaurants, although a bit touristic. We moved onwards close to the Great Synagogue of Tbilisi to reach Gallery 27, an Instagram spot of the city. That's basically a private building that you can access to admire its glasses-colored staircase. Upstairs there are apartments where people actually live, so be sure not to be noisy. 
we concluded our day moving to the governmental area. From Freedom Square, we walked through Shota Rustaveli Avenue and passing by the parliament, we arrived at 9 April Park. Nearby, there is a Café Daphne, a great place to enjoy hinkali as they have a number of varieties, including vegetarian options with fillings of mushroom and potatoes. On the second day, we went back to Ricky Park to take the aerial tramway. Besides offering a great view of the city for a few euros, the tramway is the less tiring option to reach the Marikala Fortress, arguably one of the highest points of Tbilisi. The fortress includes a long walk of its high walls, St. Nicholas Church, and a closer look at the mother of Georgia, or Kartlis Deda, the statue watching over the city. To descend, you can use the stairs or the zip rope, at least in summer, that brings you to the heart of the botanical garden. We took the stairs and descended into the bath area. This quarter is one of the most famous of the whole city. Here, it is highly recommended to take a few pictures and a bath. There are varying prices and services offered, including a vigorous massage by the bath staff. But be sure to check the bath with the service you like the most. Some of them need to be booked in consideration of the great quantity of tourists and locals using them. The ugliest ones are the cheapest, but if you're trying them just for the experience, they can be worth the try. This area is also indicated for lunch. Here we tried Culinarium Caseria, Afterwards, we moved into the botanical garden. From this side, you will pay an entrance fee, while I'm pretty sure you skip it if you descend with the zip line. Anyway, a few euros are worth the visit that includes a small waterfall and a Japanese garden. After the garden, we killed a few hours by roaming the streets near Liberty Square, but if you have less time, you might want to pick some of the suggestions of our last day in Tbilisi. One idea is visiting Fabrica, a hostel for hipsters, where we attended a rather expensive buffet breakfast. Of course, buffet have advantages and disadvantages, and it really depends on whether you like them or not. We certainly did not live with an empty stomach. Still, the back courtyard of Fabrica is a great venue for dining or simply having a drink in the evening. We came back for it just before starting our road trip through the country. But on morning three, after breakfast, we got a taxi via an app to reach the Chronicles of Georgia. The huge monument was created by Zurab Tseretelli in 1985. It is located at the outskirts of the city, but you can reach it easily by car or slowly via public transport. It depends on your budget and time, but if you are more than one, then I would strongly advise to take a taxi. On our way back, we took a bus that brought us to the Gardenia Shevarnadze, which is basically a garden and a tea house. Yet, it was really hot and most of the places had already been taken. So I cannot tell you if they have nice cakes or not. Still, if you are passing by, a visit of the garden is recommended. We then moved to the Tatsaminda Park, which is an amusement park located at the top of a hill and that can be reached using a funicular available for a few euros. Extra tip for Western Europeans in love with Soviet brutalism. There are two remarkable places that you can reach via taxi or by car if you extend your stay in Tbilisi, the Bank of Georgia headquarters and the Sabortalo housing district of 1976. They are everywhere on Instagram, and if you like unconventional pictures, then you shall consider them. Thank you for your attention! This is my three days in Belize. I believe it's doable even if you want to do everything I mentioned and showed you, because we did everything at a very slow pace. As you noticed, we walked most of the time, but again, if you take the transport, you may do it even faster. Also, you may require four full days if you want to take it slow and have longer meals. It is up to you. Stay tuned for the next videos on Georgia if you're planning a road trip.